They go from 17 to where? Nine, seven, where do they go? They go to eight or nine, I yeah. believe. Now a long baseline, that's a big time block. Good ups from Patrick Williams. His luck right now, and there's the block shot. 17 point game. And it's Western Carolina that leads it. Long three, this one. So Western Carolina back in front, 70-68. Three minutes to play in this game. Nice pass for us to Williams. Hammer time ties it up. He's got fresh legs. Does Cameron Gibson 15 points? Williams and the foul. Big size advantage inside. Patrick Williams is strong. Evans is that guy and talking to, to the coaching staff is that his defense, as you see him come up with that still, is and something they've been looking forward to. That's that defensive havoc you're talking about Florida State. So we talked about Florida State and what they want to do, and you see great hands in the steal. And this is what Florida State wants to do. They want to be able to turn you over. Patrick Williams on the wing in front of the box bench. Long cross-court pass for Sell. Three ball. Boy, he's been on fire. Good ball movement. Evans had a shot, didn't take it. Williams, high arcing three. Boy, great ball movement. And what they're doing, as you see, is they're sharing the basketball from one side to the other. So the little things that you teach is trying to make sure that you play man ball principle and force them in something. As you see that finish. <laughs> Williams to Kopravica. Williams, the drive and the easy bucket. Patrick Williams, the freshman star for Florida State. Indiana right now, it's in the NBA, but the catch. And just a whole lot of nothing for the Cougars as Jones crashes in trying to lay it in. Here's Patrick Williams, he's gonna keep it and score. Patrick Williams. That came on the heels of another Florida State steal. Watch the lob right here. Great play. Charge, but we'll take another look here at that lob, Adrian. Again, great ATO that time. Um, drawn up by Florida State, and you get you're probably your most athletic guy in a nice situation. You get out of the out of, the, uh, out of bounds underneath. He went zone and uh, bumped up, got the back screen from Ray. Now inside 10. Williams on the drive. Jack from the wing. Three more. Talk to the guys and how they feel about each other, but can you make that next step and take a guy that really takes the bull by the horns when you have him in some tough games? Oh! A missed by Polite, stuffed in, and that's Patrick Williams. And Duke can move, I just want to see him on the court. Well, help him. Williams, the flush on the baseline. In terms of rebounds against their opponents, you got four guys, I'm just seven or more. Pinned at the backboard, and a rejection to follow by Patrick Williams as he guarded the rim twice. Ten players average ten or more minutes playing for Coach Hamilton on the block right there from Williams. It goes out of bounds and it's Florida State basketball. Braxton Key sits, picking up his third foul about midway through the second half. Morcell pushing, challenges Williams, who rejects it off the backboard. Florida State on the run. It's Forrest, a cross-court kick and a three. Played at Ole Miss and Drake prior to his stop in Tallahassee. Trying to set the screen for Williams. Full screen and roll, and they work it to perfect. As a team, Florida State is 9 of 18 from three-point real estate. Williams. Silky smooth, Brian. He wins to tie Bobby Kremitz with fifth on that list. The Georgia Tech legend. Forrest. Locked by Horn. A springy Williams is there. You see the penetration. That horn comes over. No one puts a body on Williams. He comes up and goes right at the rim. Aggressively, as is usually the case, because it's very athletic and long Florida State team. Paul Anthony needs a shot. What a great pass. And a great block. Pierce denied at the rim. That was a great look by Anthony. His dad was out on the pass and they played for Davis. Now look at him pass inside. Now when he delivers that next year in the NBA, that's a slam dunk. Look at that defensive effort. Good rotation. Patrick Williams, one of the top recruits in the country. Well, they're a little <laughs> frustrated with this year. <laughs> they have to appreciate what they've had over the many, many years. But again lately as well.
Moore is trying to drive. Five to shoot. Forrest into the corner. The freshman Patrick Williams. Seven points. Great end of the half for Florida State. They're up by one as we send you to the studio now for the halftime report. Completely off the mark. Long trying to get inside again, but not there this time. Williams on the run with stuff it as he goes airborne. At least Trent Forrest always has his eyes up seamlessly with the movement. Williams catches, dunks that thing like it's a tennis ball. See how massive those hands are. Really beating the Seminoles defenders off the bounce. Starting at the top, breaking down the deep. And way downtown, a lot of iron, but Williams with the from extending this lead. Walker to the baseline. Williams puts it through. Still a one possession game. Williams baseline leaning in. Lost command of it. Got it back and a foul will be at the line. They go and give Pitt another opportunity. So going with about nine seconds, he went too early, but still has the stick to it of this. Evans. Baseline cut on the slam. Sensational ducks of this ball game. Is finding his fellow freshman teammate who finishes it off with the highlight. Mm. 62 of them have been three pointers. You should guard him there then. Yes, that would be a good idea. Williams, the block shot. For Lobo. The run is 13 zip for Florida State. Kendall in trouble in the lane. Throw it away. Williams on his way to the bucket. Seminoles by four with the basketball. Patrick Williams, rainbow triple from the corner. And that's one of the things about his game that I really like. Uh, he's a long, athletic guy that can put the ball on the floor and finish at the rim. Still with a game to go, plus tonight. I mean, let's just lay it out there. There's a lot of disrespect on this floor. Florida State being disrespected, not getting the attention they deserve as one of the best teams. In the conference, and John Mooney being disrespected as an individual performer. Ability to overcome them is a part of who you are. And there have been there have been a lot of significant players who have missed time. Patrick Williams detonated. Check this out. 